Oh shit, here we go again. What's up everybody, it's your boy Yushraf and today we're going to be making the group only seat as you can see a demo here. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your toolbox. It's going to be at the top of your screen. Then you're going to type in A chassis. Now, if you just want to learn how to do this, just use the A chassis. It's not a big deal. Um, but I made it so that this script is not a plug-in for the A chassis, meaning you don't need an A chassis. It's not an A chassis only vehicle, meaning you just need a driver's seat. So this can work for jets, boats, anything with a driver's seat, even a, a chair, for example whatever that the seat requires, it just needs a seat. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to do this with group ranks, just groups and multiple groups at the same time. So the first thing you wanna do is put a script in the group checker. As you can see in the drive seat, I had that as a child. We're gonna say seat equals script.parent, seat.changed connect function. I hate how they always do that auto complete the parentheses stuff. They just need to fix that already or I need to get with the program if you know what I mean. All right, so we're going to zoom in here and we're going to say if seat.occupant. So this is when the seat is changed. So if any seat property is changed, we're going to go ahead and detect that. So if someone is sitting in the seat by saying if seat.occupant, then we're going to make them our humanoid. And what we need to do is find the humanoid of the player. And you'll see what I mean. So if we do have a humanoid, meaning if we do have a seat.occupant, then local player equals game, get service, players, and then we're gonna be using the built-in function called get player from character. It's automatically built into the get service players function. And then we're gonna get the humanoids parent, which is our character basically. And then we're gonna go and skip a line. We're gonna say if, oh, the parentheses are what I normally use. If player, if this player is in group and that's the built-in function of player, so if they're in group zero, so this is a group ID and if they're not in player is in group zero. I know it's a little complicated, but let me break this down for you. So if the player is not in the group, the certain group ID goes where I just put the zero. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to find your guys' group ID. Uh, but after that, we're gonna set the uh, network owner, which is the player. And then we're gonna say seat.occupant.jump equals true. Then let's go and test this. I'm not in group zero, so I'm gonna go and Get in there, and obviously it's not working for me. So let me show you guys how to add another group. Another one. What you're gonna be doing is adding an and statement. So you're gonna say, and player is in group, and then do the same thing with the ID. For example, I just put zero, but you're gonna wanna put the group ID that requires here. Or you could put or. So if they're not in this group, or if they're not in this group. So it's either you could say if they're not in both groups or if they're not in either or. And if you want to put like three, four different groups, you could just separate them using the and or or conjunctions or clauses, whatever it is. So you're going to go to the website, you're going to go to my groups, and then you're going to find your group. At the top, the link in which your group is, that's where you find your ID, like I just showed you. Then you can go ahead and test it easily, just fine. You don't need an A chassis, but this is how you do it. So now if you want to get the rank in the group, so if someone is like is an officer or a lieutenant in your police group, for example, you're going to be wanting to use the get role in group. Now, it's not going to autocomplete because Roblox doesn't really recognize this in the engine, but you're going to want to use get role in group and then the group rank. I'm not going to really go in depth with the group ranking system. What you're going to have to do is go online and just search up group ranking system, how it works. If you do have a group admin or you have, if you are the admin of your own group, um, you can figure it out by just going to roles and then you can find the certain ID and the certain rank that is required. So you can just say, oh, the certain rank is above one in this case. But that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy the short tutorial on how to make your drive seat only for group members. And you can do multiple groups or get role in group. That function works as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ushraf and hit that like button and have a good one. Peace.